Welcome to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. Do you remember when the adults were having a Christmas party, and you'd, you'd be standing around as a kid, and somebody would walk up and give you a kiss, and you'd be like, <gasps> and then the adult would point up to the ceiling, and there'd be a piece of mistletoe. And you learned later that standing under the mistletoe was a fantastic idea. Anyways, as you get older and you don't always stand around under them, you can now take the mistletoe with you wherever you want to go in this simple cocktail, which is called a mistletoe martini. It's simple, it's easy, it tastes great, and it's shaken. So grab your shaking tin or Boston glass like I'm using, and you're going to start with your first spirit. Now I'm using Tito's handcrafted vodka, and we need an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. The second ingredient you're going to use is an elderflower liqueur. Now it is slightly sweet and it's floral and you can use it to make a lot of cocktails to taste great, including some really bad champagnes. But we don't need a lot. We're only going to use half an ounce, half an ounce or 15 mils. The third ingredient that you're going to use is a little bit of a one-to-one -one simple syrup, one part water, one part sugar, warm it up till it goes nice and clear. And we're going to use the same amount, which is half an ounce or 15 mils. The fourth ingredient you're going to use is going to make up for all of the sweetness you've just added. And that would be, of course, cranberry juice, or in this case, I have cranberry blend. And you can use the different versions of cranberry juice mixed with some other fruit juice, if you want, to give you slightly different flavors. But we need a total of an ounce and a half or 45 mils. We're looking really good. The next thing you need is a little bit of ice because what we're going to do now is we're going to shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. And you wanna make sure your glass is pretty much full. Slap this on like so. Make sure you have a good seal. Move that because if you don't, you're gonna hit it. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand cranberries. Put this off to the side, and what we're going to do, instead of using a martini glass, we're gonna drop this into a rocks glass. It's gonna make it easier for you to carry around at a party, and you're not gonna spill it as much. And it's gonna look fantastic, trust me. So what you wanna do, grab some fresh ice, just fill your glass up, and what we'll do is just, using your Hawthorne strainer, pour it on top. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. So what we're going to do now is we're going to garnish this with some actual cranberries, just dropping a few in like so and placing some mint on top as well. And here you have a mistletoe martini, absolutely gorgeous to look at and you can take this around during any party, anytime. Mm, so good. So immediately you get a little bit of cranberry, you actually get a little bit of the elderflower liqueur the vodka is not present in taste. It just sits there and it bumps everything up nicely. If you like cocktails like this, take a look right here.